hello everyone welcome in my next video related to the load balancer so in my previous video i have discussed about the https load balancer how to create the https load balancer in gcp and now i am going to create a tcp load balancer so in tcp load balancer the layer 4 load balancing or proxy for application that rely on tcp or ssl protocol is a tcp lv ssl proxy or tcp proxy we can configure through this load balancer so here the first option internet facing or in internal only so if i am creating this a load balancer for internet facing or for internet uh, internal only then we need to choose this option from internet to my vm if the traffic is coming from the internet to my vm and if it's a internal then only between my VM. So once we select the only my, uh, between my VM, it will asking for the single region or multiple region. Okay, so it's a always for the single region. So if it's a coming from the internet to my VM, I have an option to select the multiple region or single region. So it's a multiple region. If I am selecting the multiple region, there is no next option. If I am selecting the single region, is asking for the backend service or target pool. So I I will go with the backend service. So continue. And is asking for the name TCP LB region is a East US four. Okay, it's a not accepting the name in caps letter. Okay, so next backend services new backend service i need to create or uh, is the ig1 is an instance group or uh, is a done add another backend is a ig2 is a done and then need to select the health check not created it so i need to create a health check is a tcp HC. So for TCP logs and check criteria, I think is okay. So here the TCP health check session infinite advanced configuration. If I go with the advanced configuration, it will showing the failover policy for failover cap um, capability. At least one backend must be make a failover. So I need to select any of this as a failover, but I'm not creating the failover service. Okay. So next is the front end. Is a front end TCP. Then it's a backend where our traffic is going. The destination. And the source is the front end where we need to select is the network tier the standard or premium. I'm just selecting the premium one protocol TCP port single multiple. I'm selecting the multiple or all ports done and the it's a review and once we finalize will configure the TCP if I am going with the only between my VM and single same thing we need to select TCP hyphen is a creating a LB region North Virginia network so need to select our BPC network then configure the backend service is the backend service name here i need to select the instance group same as before health check any health check which i have created previously and then front end name front end tcp Subnetwork here the available subnetworks. I am configuring.
टाइप इन दी विल फॉर सबनेट वन इंटरनल आईपी नॉन शेयर्ड ऑल पोर्ट्स और वी कैन स्पेसिफाई स्पेसिफिक पोर्ट इफ आई वांट फॉर द पोर्ट एटी और पोर्ट एनी स्पेसिफिक पोर्ट आई कैन मेंशन हियर और इस इस अ मल्टीपल पोर्ट आई कैन सेपरेटेड विथ द कॉमा ओके देन डन एंड इजी एंड फाइनलाइज द क्रिएटिव तो इस अ TCP load balancer. Once we are going for the UDP load balancer, it's the same as the TCP, but it's a works for UDP protocol only. It's a layer four uh, load balancer. So start configuring from my VM only between backend services here. It's the same as before. I need to create the things backend configuration instance group. then health check whatever health check i want to create the hc and then front end name front end and we need to create for the multiple this one is a showing it it means somewhere i have made a mistake Okay, front end premium IP address is a multiple inferior done. Okay, the to select all because in multiple i have not mentioned the port number that's why it was showing the error message here is a created then click on create for um, i'm not going with this only between my vms same thing i need to create is a front end here in the front end the same thing is a global access or whatever is a thing after enabling global access your l4 internal load balancer will still be regional but it will have across regional access means you can access it from anywhere in the uh, globally but it will be a regional load balancer means after enabling global uh, access your l4 internal load balancer will still be regional but it will have cross regional access cross regional access remember this is a cross regional access okay so this are created about the load balancer now i am uh, control and don't save it so how load balancer is required suppose in my environment i have Palo Alto device. This is uh, my Palo Alto device. Okay, and here my web servers. Okay, is a Palo Alto firewall. Firewall. This is my web servers and this is my internet traffic so from internet if anyone accessing uh, anyone is trying to access this server these two servers is a web service so for the security purpose is a suppose no yeah For the security purpose, what will happen? The traffic will come to the load uh, follow all to then going to this two servers. So how can we load balance it, or how can we make it secure? So what we can do, we can create a load balancer. Suppose it's my LB. LB 
be and any traffic comes from the internet through follow all to will create a rule on follow all to that traffic coming to the follow all to then from follow all to is the next hoop is the load balance so from follow all to traffic is going to the load balancer and load balancer is routing the traffic to these two web servers so what happened follow all to knows the ip address of the load balancer only not the web server side and anyone who is accessing this is getting the ip which is provided by the load balancer or uh, firewall so one more thing here if here we are uh, creating a load balancer to load balance it from internet also we can load balance this suppose we are creating a load balancer is an external load balancer this one is internal load balancer there are two types of load balancer internal and external so any traffic comes from the internet it's going to the follow all to through a external load balancer okay <coughs> so suppose he is uh, accessing abc.com okay so abc.com traffic is going to the load balancer from load balancer it's going to the particular firewall and in firewall is this i uh, url ip is netted with some other ip address and firewall is sending request to the next load balancer which is your internal load balancer and internal load balancer is sending the traffic to the web servers okay so this is your tcp load balancer and this is your https load balancer so if internal load balancer is the https load balancer is a suppose it's a https lb here you need to put the certificate you need to create health check you need to create instance group here and same here in tcp load balancer also you need to create health check and instance group for internal uh, external uh, load balancer the instance group would be the follow all to device or your firewall device for internal load balancer instance group is your web server also if you are creating a https load balancer for https load balancer you need to reserve one subnet for load balancing purpose like suppose this one i am going to show you how to create the subnet which is reserved for load https load balancer so going to the bpc network and just going to this bpc and i will try to add a subnet so once i add a subnet it will ask me the purpose so reserve proxy only subnet is required so whenever you create a https load balancer always remember you should have a subnet reserved for proxy purpose okay exclusive for internal https load balancer proxies okay thanks for joining we'll discuss about the bpc peering in my next session